Hi, good evening, Justine. I'm waiting for the other students to join, okay? Okay, Miss. I'm going to share the booklet that we're going to be using to the screen. Yes, ma'am. I'll wait on the other students. I'm admitting the other students. This is simultaneously, I'm going to be sharing the booklet on the screen that we're going to be using today. So today, we start our 2022 performance task series. So in this Saturday class at three, all we're going to be looking at is performance tasks. Today, we're gonna to focus on the language arts performance tasks. We're going to be looking at today. Hi, Ms. Are Bowen, you? are you hearing me? I can hear you. Fabulous, thank you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. We're going to be looking at the pre-writing skill to unpack the writing prompt. Are you seeing us on the screen? Yes, miss. Okay, great. So our writing form is a part of the instruction that tells you what your essay should look like and what should be included, right? So it tells you the format of the essay and what should be included in a this here is the writing from yes let me reshare to the screen some part of it gives you the instruction that tells you what you should be doing in your essay however some part of it is just additional information all right so we have to identify which part is additional and what part is the actual thing that we should be doing or the actual instruction that tells us what we should be doing in our essay. We will unpack the prompt essentially, and we can use the analogy unpack, similarly to how um, we unpack our suitcase. Similarly to how we'll unpack our suitcase to take out all the clothes that we need, so we'll unpack the writing from to take out all the information we need. Sorry, the information that we're concerned with are the purpose, the audience, the strong verb, and the topic. The purpose of the article or essay is to describe or to explain. In this case, we're going to underline the sentence that tells us what we want the readers to understand. We're also concerned with the audience and our audience is who will be reading the article or essay. We're also concerned with the strong verb and this tells us or ties into the purpose of writing. So let's look back at the purpose and we'll see the verbs there. So the purpose of writing is either to des describe or to explain each of those words are, or each of those words is a strong verb. We're also concerned with the topic and the topic tells us what our writing should be about. Usually we find a topic by looking at the word that reoccurs most or the words that repeat most. 
And then finally, we are concerned with the task and it's what kind of information we need to include in our article. So let's look back at the writing from. So students, try to remember that when you look at the language arts performance as you see this part of the information they're writing from. However, you will not see a graphic organizer similarly to what we just see, the P-A-S-T-T -T graphic organizer. This is something because you have learned this skill, you will improvise or use it in the examination to help you to pull out the information that is necessary for you to write a well-constructed essay based on what they ask you to to bring out in the essay, right? So you won't see to unpack the prompt. But by doing these classes and learning this skill, this is a pre-writing skill of unpacking the prompt, you will do it as a second nature or just once you see the prompt, you will know that you must draw up your PASTT graphic organizer, whether it's on the extra leave that you are given or somewhere there right at the the prompt, you could even just use letters to say um, P for the purpose. The sentence that tells you the purpose, you just put a P over it, right? It doesn't have to be something as a well-constructed graphic organizer, similarly to what we have here, all right? So we're gonna read through the writing prompt and then to see if we can identify the different parts of the writing prompt. Does anyone want to go ahead and read? It starts here. Can I do it? Can I do it, Miss? Can I do it, Miss? I'm going to go with Anna Shay first. Since she... Yay. All right. So you start at you. Go ahead. You are a writer for young inventors. You are a writer for a young inventors magazine. It is a magazine for children ages 10, 8 to 10. The next issue is about how inventions can change over time. Write an article about how telephones have changed since they were invented. Continue, wait, Continue wait, get wait, ready. To get ready to write your article, you will read the following sources. Voices on the telephone, telephones past and present, in your article, describe what phones have looked like at, at three different times in history. Explain how people make calls using each type of phone. Okay, great. So that's the writing prompt. And in this prompt, we're going to try to find the purpose, purpose for P, audience A, S, strong verb, T, topic, and T again, classes, T -A -S -T -T. So let's look for the purpose and let's go back to the definition of what is the purpose. The purpose is what we want the reader to understand when they're finished reading the article, right? So let's go back. You can read, um, take one minute to read individually, just in your mind and then try to identify the sentence that tells us what we want our reader to understand. So it says, you are a writer for Young Inventors Magazine. It is a magazine for children ages eight to 10. The next issue is about how, is about how inventions change over time. Write an article about how phones have changed since they were invented. So get ready to write your article. You will read the following sources. Voices on the telephone, telephones past and present. In your article, describe what phones have looked like at three different times in history, and also to explain how people made calls using each type of phone. All right? Yes, miss. So now, what is it that we want the reader to understand? When they're finished reading our essay, what should they understand? Miss, may I say? Yes, you can go ahead, Justine. Miss, what they're supposed to understand is how phones have changed over the years. Yes, but what I want you to do is use an actual sentence from the writing prompt. 
We're going to paraphrase later on, but not at this time. So I don't want you to paraphrase it. I want you to show me the sentence where you found that information. Yes, ma'am. So go ahead and read the sentence. Miss, it says, how telephones have changed since they were invented. Yes. So this sentence here, very good, Justin. I'm going to highlight it in yellow. This sentence here that says, write an article about how telephones have changed since they were invented. That is what we want the readers to understand when they're finished reading our essay, right? Yes, yes. Okay, great. So we're going to move on to the audience now. Who will be reading our essay? Miss, can I answer, Miss? Yes, you can answer, Karen. It will be, or uh, Miss, it will be, you are a writer for a young oh, inventors, mother. It's a magazine for children aged 8 to 10. So who will be because reading it, 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 Children, Miss, 8 to 10. You are, it's children. a magazine for children 8 to 10. Eight, eight, children's eight, ages 8 to 10. Very good, Kai. I'm going to highlight it in a different color as well. So children's ages 8 to 10, those are the, the persons that will be our audience. All right? All right, so now let's move on coming. to the song verb. Go ahead, Anna. Coming. Okay. Please, what are you saying? No, I thought you were saying something. All right, so let's move on to the strong verb now. And we said the strong verb tells us the purpose of writing our article, which is either to describe or to explain. So which one of those verbs are we seeing here? Are we, are we seeing any of those verbs or are we seeing both of those verbs? Are we seeing any of them? Any of those strong verbs? Can we go back down to the strong verb, Miss? Uh, is Miss? The strong where it says strong verb. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Miss, That's okay now. I'm not the. I'm not. I'm not gonna tell you Miss. Yes, let me go up, up to the right in from. Go ahead, Karen. The next issue is about how inventors change over time. Oh. That's not a verb. No, that's not a verb. Oh. We want one word. One doing word. Oh. It's what we're going to be doing in the article. What are we going to be doing? Change. Repeat. Or miss. Miss change, miss. In the sense that it says, the next issue is about how invention, invention change over okay. time. I, I so it, be change. Okay. So it tells you um the next issue is about how inventions change over time. But we're not writing about... um. Or we're not changing anything. We're just writing about how inventions have changed. What are we doing in the essay? And these strong verbs are writing. Yes, that's our purpose. Yes, we're going to be writing. But um, let me get um that point out so you can better understand the strong verb. The strong verb is the purpose or article, which is either to describe or to explain. And I was saying before, are you seeing any of those verbs? Are you seeing describe or explain in the writing from? Is it there? If it is, that is the yes, strong yes, it is there. So we have both describe and explain, and those two verbs are the strong. Oh, words. down there, Miss. Oh, down there, Miss. We can yeah. also go from down there, Miss. Yes, oh, the entire, oh, okay. Oh, the I thought I'm holding that. I thought I could only do from. Oh, 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 I thought I could only do one from. You are a writer, so they were invented, Miss. That's why you mean. The entire part here, the entire paragraph is the writing from here. So the strong verbs, what we're going to be doing in the article is describing what phones have looked like at three different times in history and explain how people made calls using each type of phone. So both of these words tells us what we're going to be doing. We're going to be describing and explaining. And as a result, these are the strong verbs. All right. So before we continue, let me just go over the idea of the purpose, the audience, and the strong verb. The purpose tells us what we want the readers to understand. So at the end of them reading our article, this is what they must understand. They must understand how telephones have changed since they were invented, right? Who we're writing to are children ages 8 to 10. 
This is important because we will know, this is important for us to find out the audience because we will know who we're directing to and what type of language to use. Think about it. If we're writing to children ages 8 to 10 and adolescents ages 18 to 20, would we use the same type of language? No, Miss Lacoste. So if you're 18 to 20, Miss, you could use some large words and some yeah. and some bad words. But if you're small, if you're well, small, it's not entirely bad, but long words are more complex type of writing, right? Yes. So I'll stop making it simple for all of my children that were yes. 8 to 10. Like, children like, like eight, children. Eight, 8 to 10, we have to make it more simpler for them, right? Simpler means not more simpler means because yes, it's, it's already superlative. It is simpler. Thank you very much, Kai. Yes. So when we talk about the strong verb, as I was saying earlier, it tells us what we will be doing in our article, so we are better able how to construct and what text structure to use. So when we describe, we can use a definition type text structure where we're sharing information and explaining, we could either use compare and contrast to explain how people made um, calls with each type of phone. All right? Okay, Lisa. Yes. So now let's move on to the topic and the task. The topic is what we will be writing about and it is the word that is occurring most. So what word is occurring most? Miss Phone, uh, Miss, the word that is a current phone is telephone, Miss. Telephone. So the topic is telephone. And more specifically, how telephones how have How they changed. have changed. Yes. Yes, Miss. I can highlight Miss. one telephone there, or I can highlight all of them. Yes. Yes. So basically, I. I have a small problem. So when I was reading the um the, the prompt, I kind of got so excited and I started doing it. I'm writing an essay. Is that okay? You're writing an essay. I'll, yes, we wanted to write an essay, but we wanted to bear in mind um the features of the introduction, the body, and the conclusion. And also, we're going to be looking at sources. So I'm not sure if you read the sources before or you're just writing without the sources. Did you read the sources? I don't see no sources. I'm just writing. But I'll, I'll show you the page. Where would you find the sources, Nisa? Like, what are, what are the you need to go on to get the answer? This is the same booklet that we were, we were using for the class on last Friday. So, oh, you gave them out. Oh, I shared it them out after by email. You can share your email in the chat. Okay, Miss. Please send it to. I'm to try to find. I'll send it. Give me a minute. You should already have my email, Miss. So I should already be able to get it.
All right, so I'll share it in the email. See, you know, you said I have the email. All right. Yeah. Okay, Miss, you, you, you sure already you sure already have it, Miss? Okay, I'll share it. All right. Do you have the Kai Cooks 9 one? Repeat. Do you have the Kai Cooks no, 9? It's in the chat, Kai. Okay. I can just copy it and, and paste it in the email there. Hmm. All right. So finally, we're going to look at the task and it's what kind of information we will need to include in our article. Now, let me spend a little time to talk about this. Sometimes we include lots of information in our article. Some of the things that we were to include, do you think that we will be given the correct marks if we include a lot of unnecessary things and don't include what they're asking us to include? No, Miss Pooh, won't get, won't get a lot of marks. No, and that's why it's important why we unpack the problem so we can find out importantly, when I say most important, because all of these parts are important, but we need to find out it's, it's almost there as the most important. What type of information we need to include in the article. So I want you to read carefully, go back through the prompts, skim back through the prompts. It's in the chat, Miss. I'm seeing it, Kai. Skim back through the prompt and see what kind of information you must include in the article. Are you seeing it? Does anyone want yes, to share? Yes. All right, go ahead, Justin. Miss, it says purpose. The purpose of your article is to describe or explain, underline the sentence that tells you what you want your readers to understand. Hold on, let me stop you there. I don't want to cut you. But I want you to not get confused with the purpose and the task. The purpose and the task is something different. The purpose is what you want the reader to understand. At the end of you writing the article. In some cases, they might be the same, but in this case, they're not the same. And the task is what kind of information you will include in the article. So overall, they must understand how telephones have changed since they were invented. So what type of information will you include in the article for them to understand this? And that's the task, okay? Does someone else want to try? Look at the information that you think should be included in the article. What information should be included in the article? Miss, I think you need to um to describe what they look what phones have looked like. Yes. Times in history, and yeah, you, and you have to explain how people make calls, made calls using each type of phone. Very and good, Kai. So we're gonna highlight it in right now, and this is the type of information you must include in your article. So if you include anything else and it's not this, they don't really um are so much concerned about what you included, but. The person who's marking the essay wants to see is what phones have looked like at three different times in history and how people made calls using each type of phone. All right. Are there any questions? Are there any questions? Okay, I'm going to take the silence for no, now. Okay, then. Thank you, Anna. So let's discuss. Why it is important for us to figure out the task? Why do you think it's important for us to figure out the task? Why do you think it's important for us to figure out the task? Miss, can I try? If you can. Miss, it is important to, to figure out what the task is. Miss, for example, you're doing a pep a, a quiz and the question is it's just an example, it's not a true question because it's an easy question. That's fine. And then it says 
if Simon has 24 apples and Sandy gives him two more, how many will you have? Miss, what did you tell when you find out what the task is? The task is telling you what are you supposed to do and what is the strategy for this equation. Okay, I am I'm understanding what you're saying, but I don't want us to be confused in problem solving because that was a worded problem there in reference to mathematics, but not um in reference to language right. So we want to familiarize ourselves and it's okay because we have not done so much of this work before. These are the things that we struggle with in our classrooms. This is the writing prompt. So you must be introduced to a writing prompt like this, right? And the kind of information we must include in this writing prompt here is highlighted in red, right? So we just went through and we unpacked the prompt and we found the purpose. We found the audience here in blue, purpose in yellow, audience in blue. We found the strong verbs in green. We found it topic in pink and we found the task in blue. All of these terms are very foreign to us, right? We're not accustomed to them and it's okay, right? That's why these, these series are done to inform us, right? Yes, miss. Oh, Please, I'm sorry for ask... not answering so fast. It's hard. That's fine. So our task is what kind of information we need to include in the type of information to include in the article. Miss, because if we include our... Excuse me, sir? If we You're include our information, it will take up the time that we have, and then we will not get back to for that information as it was not necessary or needed, and they didn't ask for it. You're making a very valid point, Kai, but I can't hear you clearly. I want you to repeat what you said before. Miss? If we include unnecessary information, we will be wasting the time that we have and we will not get the marks for it as it is not what they asked for and not what they wanted in in the, the article. In the essay. I article. think you can nail right on the head. And that means you're very on point and correct. Um if you do not include what they ask you to include and spend time including unnecessary information that they're not even gonna mark you for, right? That is a total injustice I mean, to your to your essay. So you want to include all the information that they ask you to include, right? So that's why it is important for you to figure out the task. So finally, and this is where we're going to basically wrap up for today. Um, in our next session, we're going to look at other writing prompts and how to unpack them and other pre-writing strategies that will come. Um, in relation to the language arts performance task. We'll also look at the mathematics, problem solving steps and problem solving strategies in our subsequent classes, all right? So finally, if we know what information to include in our essay, right? Which is the task. How will that information affect how we write our essay? Miss, if I assume can't please answer, Miss. Go ahead, Kai. Miss, it will it will change the way hot, what it will change what we put in the essay, what we need to have in the essay, and what we don't need to have in the essay. Okay, so I'm 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 leaning towards the part where you say what you what you need to include in the essay. So basically, it it will affect how we write our essay because we will include only the things that are necessary to be included and just stay away from the irrelevant um, information, right? Uh -huh. Yes, please. Yes, basically. All right, so um, thank you very much for participating in this class series. As I said, this is just one of the classes that we'll be doing for the month of November into December. We're trying to help students sharpen up on these pre-writing skills and problem solving strategies and skills, all right? So in the next yes, class, we'll expand more and you'll get an idea. So go over what we have done today. The video of this class will be posted on the YouTube channel. So you can head on over to the channel and watch the video and get a refresher. All right? Yes, ma'am. So I'll see you again next week. All right? Goodbye. Okay. Yes. Bye. Bye.